Have you ever wondered what makes Vietnamese pho so irresistibly delicious? That fragrant broth, the silky noodles, the tender meat, the explosion of fresh herbs, it's a symphony of flavors that leaves you craving for more. Join me, Rachel, as we slurp our way through the heart and soul of Vietnam, one steaming bowl at a time. This isn't just a bowl of soup, it's a damn odyssey. We're diving deep into the history, the culture, the art of pho, from its humble origins to the bustling streets of Hanoi, and trust me, you're going to want to grab a spoon for this. Forget the Michelin stars and the white tablecloths. The best food stories often begin in the most unexpected places. Pho is no exception. This isn't some fancy concoction. It's the food of the people, born on the bustling streets of Hanoi. Imagine the early 1900s. French colonialism casts a long shadow over Vietnam and with it comes a hunger for beef, a luxury few could afford. Enterprising vendors found a way. They took leftover beef bones, simmered them for hours, extracting every last drop of flavor, and a legend was born. Early versions of pho were simple affairs, a humble bowl of broth, noodles, and those precious slices of beef. It was a dish embraced by the working class, a hearty breakfast to fuel their days. But like any good dish, Pho evolved, it traveled, it adapted, absorbing the flavors and influences of each region it encountered. From the north, it journeyed south, where bolder flavors and a kaleidoscope of fresh herbs took center stage. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. Let's dissect this bowl of deliciousness. What is it about pho that makes it so damn good? It's all about the delicate dance of ingredients, the harmony of flavors that unfolds in every sip. First and foremost, the broth. This is the soul of pho, a slow simmered elixir that's the result of hours of patient cooking. Beef bones, charred onions, ginger, star anise, cloves, cinnamon, maybe a whisper of fish sauce. All these ingredients, they ain't just thrown in there. They're coaxed, they're seduced over low heat. Then come the noodles. These ain't your average supermarket noodles, folks. These are fresh rice noodles soft, slippery, and perfectly engineered to soak up every drop of that flavorful broth. And then, the star of the show, the meat. Thinly sliced, often rare, beef is the classic choice. But chicken, meatballs, even tofu for our vegetarian friends, all have their place in the pho universe. No bowl of pho is complete without the symphony of fresh herbs and toppings that elevate it from a simple soup to a culinary masterpiece. Basil, cilantro, mint, Thai basil, culantro, these green ninjas bring a burst of freshness. And then, the crunch. Bean sprouts, lime wedges, chili peppers, hoisin, and sriracha all add their unique touch. It's this symphony of flavors, the interplay of textures, the freshness, the heat, the richness, that makes pho so damn good. Now listen up, because this is where things get really interesting. Just like any dish that's been embraced by a nation, pho has as many personalities as there are regions in Vietnam. From the north to the south, each region has its own spin on this beloved soup. In the north, particularly in Hanoi, where it all began, pho tends to be all about the purity of flavor. The broth is the star here, crystal clear, subtly sweet, with a delicate balance of spices. Head south and things start to get a little more adventurous. Southern Vietnamese pho is all about bold flavors, a riot of colors, and a symphony of textures. The broth might be a touch sweeter with a hint of fish sauce adding a savory depth. You'll find a wider array of toppings too, from bean sprouts and herbs to sawtooth coriander, and even a squeeze of lime. In the central region of Vietnam, you'll encounter a unique variation known as bun bo hue. This spicy beef noodle soup is not for the faint of heart with a fiery broth that's flavored with lemongrass, shrimp paste, and a healthy dose of chili peppers. Then you've got regional specialties like pho ga, a chicken-based pho that's popular throughout the country. And for those who like their pho with a little extra oomph, there's pho satay, which features a spicy peanut sauce. The beauty of pho lies in its versatility. All right, so you've got your steaming bowl of pho in front of you. The aroma is intoxicating. You're ready to dive in. But hold on a minute, cowboy. There's an art to eating pho, a certain etiquette that's as much about respect for the dish as it is about maximizing flavor. First things first, take a moment to appreciate the aroma. Inhale deeply, let the fragrant steam awaken your senses. This is all part of the experience, the anticipation building before the first delicious slurp. Now grab your chopsticks and spoon. 
The chopsticks are your tools for navigating the noodles and meat, while the spoon is your vessel for savoring the broth. Start by taking a sip of the broth. Let it coat your tongue, appreciate the depth of flavor, the subtle interplay of spices. Next, use your chopsticks to gather a small amount of noodles and meat and bring them to your mouth, slurping them up with gusto. Don't be shy about making some noise. Slurping is not only acceptable, it's encouraged. Now here's where the real fun begins, customizing your foe. This is your chance to play with flavors, to create a bowl that's uniquely yours. Start by adding a handful of fresh herbs. Bean sprouts add a refreshing bite, while chopped chilies bring the heat. And of course, no bowl of pho is complete without a squeeze of lime. Let's talk condiments, those magical elixirs that can take a dish from good to downright godly. And when it comes to pho, the right sauce can make all the difference. Think of it like this. You've got your base, that beautiful bowl of pho, but it's the condiments that allow you to paint your own masterpiece of flavor. First up, the dynamic duo, the Batman and Robin of the pho world, Hoisin and Sriracha. Hoisin, with its sweet, salty, and slightly funky flavor, adds a depth and complexity that complements the broth beautifully. Sriracha, on the other hand, brings the heat, its fiery kick adding a welcome punch to every bite. Now, some folks like to keep it classic, adding a dollop of hoisin and a swirl of sriracha to their pho. And there's nothing wrong with that. But me, I like to get a little creative. I'm talking about mixing and matching, experimenting with different ratios, finding that perfect balance of sweet, spicy, and savory. Then you've got the unsung heroes of the pho condiment world, the chili garlic sauce and the fish sauce. Chili garlic sauce, with its potent blend of chilies, garlic, and vinegar, adds a fiery kick. Fish sauce, often overlooked, is a secret weapon in the pho arsenal. Fresh chilies, sliced limes, pickled onions, these are all essential players in the pho condiment game. So far, we've journeyed through the history, the ingredients, the regional variations, the rituals, and the condiments that make pho such a damn delicious and culturally significant dish. But now, it's time to get down to business. To answer the question that's been on your mind since the beginning of this video, where can you find the best damn pho in America? Well, my friends, let me introduce you to a culinary oasis nestled in the heart of. This ain't your average strip mall pho joint, folks. This is the real deal a family-run establishment that's been serving up authentic Vietnamese cuisine for generations. The moment you step inside, you're greeted by the intoxicating aroma of spices, the gentle hum of conversation, and a sense of warmth and hospitality that's all too rare these days. The menu is a love letter to Vietnamese cuisine, but the star of the show is undoubtedly their pho. The broth, simmered for hours with bone-in beef, charred onions, ginger, and a secret blend of spices, is a revelation. It's rich, flavorful, and deeply satisfying, with a depth of flavor that only comes from hours of patient cooking. The noodles are perfectly cooked, soft and slippery, soaking up every drop of that delicious broth. And the meat, oh the meat. Whether you choose the thinly sliced rare beef, the tender chicken, or the flavorful meatballs, you're in for a treat. But what really sets apart is their commitment to authenticity. From the ingredients they source, to the techniques they use, everything is done with the utmost care and respect for tradition. This is pho, the way it was meant to be eaten, simple, pure, and bursting with flavor. There you have it, folks. A deep dive into the soul-satisfying world of pho. From its humble beginnings on the streets of Hanoi, to the bustling kitchens of America's best Vietnamese restaurants, pho is more than just a soup. It's a culinary adventure. Now that you're armed with the knowledge, the tips, and maybe even a rumbling stomach, it's time to embark on your own faux nominal journey. Go ahead, seek out a local Vietnamese restaurant, or better yet, get your hands dirty and try making it yourself. Trust me, the journey is half the fun. And when you're done, come back here and tell me all about it.